Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to sort large sets of data within Microsoft Excel. Specifically how to sort with only one criteria and then how to sort based on multiple criteria. Now what I have here is a sample sales report that has been imported to Excel um, from a CSV file. Now what I have here is a contact column and I'm going to assume that those are the salesmen for the company and this is all of the information pertaining to their sales. So let me go ahead and zoom in really quickly. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and start to sort the data. I'd like to get all of these salesmen. Basically what's gonna do is to put the salesmen in alphabetical order so that we can see all of the sales made by the salesmen together. So, you know, Alan James, all of his sales will be listed here, then the next person here, and so on. So simply go to the data tab and now click sort. Now I showed you how to do a quick sort before using these two buttons. Here we're going to click the big sort button. Now when you do that Excel is going to automatically try to figure out what data range you would like to sort. It's going to do that based on um, all of the data that's actually touching. Meaning that if you have a number of empty rows and columns in the middle of your database, it's not going to include that in the range that it sorts. So it's important to check to make sure you don't have empty rows and columns everywhere. Now, the next thing is the headers. So it automatically assumes that you have headers or it's going to check for it. And that would be, in my case, row one. Now, if you don't have headers, simply right here where it says my data has headers, uncheck that. As soon as I do that, you can see that the highlighted range includes row one. When I recheck that, row one is not included. So if your data has headers, it simply means the headers will always remain in the same position while everything underneath it will be sorted. So to sort, do a basic sort, let's go ahead and get the salesman in order. Got the contact column right here. So what I want to do is click the sort by drop down menu. This is going to give me the text in every cell and the headers for every column select which one you'd like to sort by. Well, I want to sort by contact. So see contact is right here and contact is the header for column A. Now what do I want to sort on? Click that drop down menu. You can sort on the values, the cell color, the font color, or the cell icon. For this tutorial we're going to focus on the values. And next choose the order you'd like to sort by. Do you want to sort it A to Z or Z to A? You have a custom list here, but we're not going to worry about that. Most of the time, you're only going to do A to Z and Z to A. A to Z and Z to A also means ascending and descending order. So 1 to 10 or 10 to 1 if you're working with numbers. Let's do A to Z for this one. And now click OK. So when we do that, we can see that the contact column has been put in alphabetical order. We have Alan, Alan James, Bart Perryman, and it continues. So that is um, a basic sort for one column. Now let's go ahead and sort on some other criteria or some other columns. I'd like to sort the company column as well. And Excel 2007 gives you up to 64 different criteria you can sort on. Previous versions are going to limit you to only three. So Excel 07, very good in that manner. Now let's go ahead and sort based on company. You can see here I've got A to B, 1 to 1. Let's change this to 2. But here it's uh, 1, 3, and 2. right? So I just put these um, little number and text headers in front of the company so we could sort based on them. I want this order right here, little corner suites, to be 1 little corner suite, 2, and then 3. So let's sort that data as well. Simply go up to the sort box right here click add level. So what this is saying is I want to sort by this, the thing we just did, the contact, I want that to be in alphabetical order A to Z, but then once that's been sorted I want to also sort these values right here. And the values I'd like to sort on or the column is the company column. So right next to where it says then by, click the drop down menu select the desired column, in this case company column. I want to sort on the values once again. And the order is A to Z. 
So look immediately when I do that, when I click OK, you will see this goes from 132 to 123. There we go. 1, 2, 3. Now the order in the contact column does not change because that's already in alphabetical order. So it's sort of like a mini sort. It's saying, all right, I've got all the Beth Munin data right here, but now I want to put it in a little bit different order. So where record, this record used to be in column seven or row seven, it's now in row eight. So that's kind of how the sort works. A little bit confusing at first. And now if we want to sort based on any other criteria, simply go back to the sort and you have 60 more, 62 more things that you can sort by. Um, and that is really pretty much it for um, basic one level and multi-level sorting in Excel. Remember, add level is going to allow you to sort by multiple things. Now say, as you notice, I just entered these two things right above this sort. You can change the order of anything that you're sorting by here by selecting it and clicking the up and down arrows. And so whichever item is at the top, the data will be sorted by that first, then it will be sorted by this, the second item, then the third item, then the fourth item. So it goes in sequential order. And like I said, select what you need and you can change the position of it within the list. Now if I want to take away the sort, I can simply select one of these and click delete level. And now when I click OK, the sorting criteria will be removed. So when I go back here, none of the sorting criteria is here, but the data will still be in the same order from the very last sort. So it's still in alphabetical order in the contact list, and still over here we can see little corner suites one, two, and three. So that's an important thing to note that it will change the order of how your data appears, but it's a way that you can um, make the order more logical anyway. So that's it for this tutorial, and if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download the workbook there.